In this channel, we have talked a lot about brutal guns and rifles, but today, we have some of the most expensive rifles of the Wild West. The last one is gonna shock you, the Mare's Leg. The Mare's Leg is a unique firearm that has become an iconic part of American pop culture. Thanks in parts to its prominent use by the character Steve McQueen, played in the television series Wanted, Dead or Alive. It's a sawed-off lever-action rifle that was originally created by modifying a Model 1892 Winchester rifle. The Mare's Leg has a distinctive look with its shortened barrel and cut-down stock. It was designed to be a compact firearm that could be easily carried by law enforcement or cowboys, and it quickly gained a reputation as a reliable and deadly weapon. It was also popular among gun enthusiasts who appreciated its unusual design. The original Model 1892 Winchester rifle was chambered in .44-40 Winchester, but the Mare's leg was often modified to fire a variety of different calibers. It could hold up to six rounds of ammunition and was typically fired from the hip, making it a fast and accurate weapon in the hands of a skilled shooter. Despite its popularity in the media, the Mare's leg was never a widely used firearm in the real life. It was technically illegal under the National Firearms Act of 1934, which placed restrictions on sawed-off shotguns and rifles. However, many enthusiasts still created their own versions of the Mare's Leg and used it for hunting, target shooting, and other recreational activities. Today, the Mare's Leg is considered a collector's item and is highly sought after by gun enthusiasts and collectors. There are also modern reproductions available for those who want to own a piece of American firearm history, whether you're a fan of classic westerns or simply appreciate the unique design of the iconic firearm. The Mare's Leg is sure to be a treasured addition to any collection. Martini Henry the Martini Henry rifle is a well-known firearm that was used during the Wild West era. It was a breech-loading single-shot rifle that fired a .450-inch cartridge. The rifle was first introduced in 1871 and quickly became a favorite among British troops who used it during the Zulu War. The Martini Henry is a breech-loading single-shot lever-action rifle that was used by the British Army from the 1870s to the 1890s. It was designed by Frederick von Martini, a Swiss engineer, and Alexander Henry, a Scottish gunsmith. The Martini Henry was used in several major conflicts, including the Zulu War and the Anglo-Egyptian War. The Martini Henry was a significant improvement over its predecessor, the Snyder Onfield rifle, as it was a most reliable and accurate. It fired a .45 caliber cartridge, which was significantly more powerful than the .577 caliber cartridge used in Snyder Anfield. The Martini Henry's cartridge was also easier to load as it was a self-contained unit with a brass casing. One of the most famous engagements in which the Martini Henry was used was the Battle of Island Wana during the Zulu War. The British Army suffered a major defeat at the hands of the Zulu warrior, but the Martini Henry played a significant role in holding off the enemy. The rifle's accuracy and power allowed the British soldiers to inflict heavy casualties on the Zulu attackers. The Martini Henry also played a significant role in the development of the sport of target shooting. In the late 19th century, rifle shooting competitions became increasingly popular in the United Kingdom, and the Martini Henry was a popular choice among competitors. The rifle's accuracy and reliability made it an ideal choice for target shooting. Today, the Martini Henry is a popular rifle among collectors and enthusiasts. Its historical significance and unique design have made it a sought-after item for collectors. Many Martini Henry rifles have been restored to their original condition, and some are still used for target shooting. In pop culture, the Martini Henry has been featured in several movies and TV shows. It's often portrayed as a symbol of the British Empire and its military might. The rifle's distinctive shape and sound make it instantly recognizable to many people, even those who are not familiar with its history. Hartford Rifle the Hartford Rifle was a popular firearm in the late 1800s and early 1900s. It was produced by Colt's, pr it was produced by Colt's Patent Firearms Manufacturing Company, also known as Colt's, which was one of the leading firearm manufacturers of the time. The Hartford Rifle was a single-shot breech-loading rifle that fired a .45 to 70 cartridge. It had a 32-inch barrel and an overall length of 49 inches. The rifle had a walnut stock and a blue to finish. It was equipped with an adjustable rear sight and a front sight with a blade. The Hartford Rifle was known for its accuracy and reliability, and it was popular among hunters and target shooters. It was also used by military, particularly during the Indian Wars. The rifle was well suited for long-range shooting, and it was effective against both large and small game. One of the unique features of the Hartford Rifle was its breech-loading mechanism. Unlike earlier rifles that required the shooter to load each round through the muzzle, the Hartford Rifle had a hinged breech block that allowed the shooter to load the cartridge from the back of the rifle. This made reloading much quicker and easier, and it allowed the shooter to fire more rounds in a shorter amount of time. Another feature of the Hartford Rifle was its adjustable rear sight. 
This allowed the shooter to make precise adjustments to the rifle's accuracy based on the range of the target. The front sight with a blade was also adjustable for windage. Overall, the Hartford rifle was a well-made and reliable firearm that was popular among hunters, target shooters, and the military. It was an important development in the evolution of firearms and helped pave the way for the modern rifles that we use today. Winchester Rifle the Winchester Rifle is a lever-action repeating firearm that was first produced in the mid-19th century. It quickly became one of the most iconic firearms of the American West due to its reliability, accuracy, and the sheer number of guns produced. The first Winchester Rifle, the Model 1866, was initially known as the Yellow Boy. Due to its distinctive brass receiver, it was chambered in .44 Henry rimfire and later in .44-40 Winchester centerfire which allowed it to use the same ammunition as the Colt Single Action Army Revolver. This made it a popular choice for those who wanted to carry a single caliber of ammunition for both their rifle and revolver. The Winchester Model 1873, also known as the gun that won the West, was another significant model. It was chambered in a .44-40 Winchester and had a toggle lock action that was stronger and smoother than the previous models. The Model 1873 became one of the most popular rifles of its time and remained in production for over 50 years. Winchester continued to produce successful models such as the Model 1892, which chambered in .38-40 and .44-40 Winchester, and the Model 1894, which was chambered in a .30-30 Winchester. The Model 1894 became one of the most popular hunting rifles of its time, and over 7 million units were produced. Winchester's rifles were also used by military forces around the world. The Model 1895 was used by the Russian Empire during the World War I, and 1894 was used by the United States military during the Spanish-American War and World War I. Today, Winchester rifles are still produced and remain popular among hunters and collectors. Their historical significance, reliability, and accuracy have made them a staple of American firearms history. Harmonica Rifle The Harmonica Rifle, also known as the Windpipe or Organ Gun, is a unique rifle that was patented in 1860 by Henry Marcus Clockenbush. It is a lever-action repeating rifle that has a magazine tube with 10 to 15 chambers shaped like a harmonica, hence its name. This gave the rifle a high capacity for its time, allowing for quick follow-up shots without the need to reload after every shot. The Harmonica Rifle was a popular choice for hunting and target shooting, but it also saw some use during the American Civil War. It was used by both Union and Confederate troops, but in limited numbers and was mostly used as a sniper rifle due to its accuracy and range. It was also used by the Texas Rangers during the post-Civil War period. The rifle's unique design allows for the use of different types of ammunition, including .22, 32, and 44 caliber cartridges, making it a versatile weapon for a variety of applications. The Harmonica Rifle is also known for its accuracy, with some models capable of shooting groups as tight as 1 inch at 100 yards. Despite its popularity and versatility, the Harmonica Rifle was eventually phased out in, new, in favor of newer, more advanced firearms. Today, it is a highly collectible item among firearms enthusiasts and collectors. Overall, the Harmonica Rifle was an innovative and unique firearm that played a significant role in the history of American firearms. Its high capacity, accuracy, and versatility made it a popular choice for hunters, shooters, and soldiers alike. In conclusion, the Wild West was a time of innovation and experimentation in the world of firearms. The guns mentioned above, while rare and expensive, represented the cutting edge of technology and gun design for their time. Today, they're highly sought after collector's items, treasured for their historical significance and craftsmanship. From the ornate and luxurious designs of the Holland and Holland Rifles, to the high-powered accuracy of the Rigsby Rising Bite, these guns continue to capture the imagination of gun enthusiasts and historians alike.